In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to add different types of media. So as long as you're on the VoiceThread homepage, you just go up here and you click the Create button. And then you can drag and drop uh, media files from your computer onto this little circle here, or you can just click on it. Um, so now most of your work is going to be done in my computer. So if I just click on that, I happen to have a Compost Presentation PowerPoint here that I will just uh, click on and open up. Uh, it's asking you to add a title, so I will just say Adding Media. I will click on Save. Now it will create a slide in VoiceThread for each slide in the PowerPoint presentation. And uh, it's just taking a little bit of time to load up there. And while that's going on, we can add other types of media that we would like. And so we'll go to Media Sources. Now in Media Sources, you have all these different options of where you can add different types of media to your VoiceThread. So you can actually add other voice threads that you have created. So I'm just going to select Owned by Me. I'm going to add the introduction that I did for uh, this course. And I will click on the Import button to do that. Um, once done in this area, we can go click on that again and select some different media sources. You can add a Khan Academy video. We'll just look at some first grade geometry here of some shapes. We'll go with uh, how to recognize the amount of slides. And now some of the videos may take a little bit of extra time to load up into your voice thread, but that's okay. The next one we're going to add from media sources is uh, just a Flickr photo. Now we'll bring up uh, all the different types of photos that you can add from Flickr, animals, nature, food, we'll go with food. And then out of here, yes, beautiful picture of healthy food. We will import that. And you get a green imported sign when it's uh, been put in there, and you can see it there. Now the other media sources. We can do Google Drive in case your files are on there instead of your computer, or we can do uh, Creative Commons licensed uh, photos from the New York Library. So if we want to look, we'll look at a collection of photographs here, and we'll uh, get the Bronx going. We'll import that as well. So that summarizes the uh, different media sources. Now you can also do an audio recording or a webcam photo. We'll just take one here. We've got to click allow to let it use our camera. And there we go. We've got a nice little picture of me that's going in there. And then we can also add a uh, webcam video as well. And again, just click on allow there. Countdown done, and then it will just show you a little bit. Once you've recorded for a little while, you can just click on the stop button. As long as you like it, then you can click save, and it will import that media as well. And then finally, the last one that we have is a URL. So as long as it has a, a JPEG or it's a video file from YouTube, as long as you can, uh, as long as you are allowed to use it under copyright, you can paste it into the URL section and it will upload that one as well. So there's our math video has finished uploading and there's our picture right there. So that is a little bit about how to do all the different types of media.